Rock 10 Symphony caught the eye at MWC Barcelona 2022, the global telco industry's most important trade show, as it made its debut with a bang. Rock 10 Symphony hosted a special event for MWC attendees on the second day of the trade show, where Mickey and Tarek took the stage to share the story behind the beginnings of Rock 10 Mobile and Rock 10 Symphony, while also taking questions from media and industry analysts. When we finally made our decision to go to an open RAN architecture, I actually went to Mickey. I said, Mickey, I know I'm asking you to take a big risk. Why don't we do a strategy where maybe we divide Japan into two halves. One half we give to a traditional vendor, and one half we build Open RAN. To be honest with you, what Mickey told me, I think not just me, but all our leadership team, completely shocked me. He goes, no, Tarek, we're not doing this. We are either all in or nothing. So we went all in. It's kind of our DNA to challenge things and which is going to excite us. So I knew that this is going to be lots of uh, you know, uh, obstacles and challenges. But I thought maybe it's possible betting, right? What I really wanted to do is democratize wireless connectivity. Because in Japan, the three legacy incumbents were providing almost same uh, service at almost the same price which is very, very expensive. And all these wallet share of the household are going to the legacy platform providers. And I want to make it more lower so that the people one can spend buying things, going somewhere, enjoying games, and so do whatever they want in a more meaning way. So I thought it was a kind of our mission to really kind of uh, disrupt uh, and to disrupt we have to do it differently, right? In addition to introducing the Rock 10 Symphony Telco platform SimWorld, which was built on functionality initially introduced in Rock 10 Communications platform, Tarek also shared the company's global strategy. When last month the 5G results of Rocket and Mobile came about, with massive MIMO deployed everywhere in Japan, and Rocket and Mobile uh, to third-party benchmarking report was the fastest 5G network, I knew that we have done the right choices in the architecture. And we activate on a daily basis almost 350 to 500 sites every day. Come on here. So we think that we've done something really good in Japan, but I also uh, thought that maybe now it's time to think global. From Rocket and point of view, um, I believe we are an absolutely inclusive company that loves collaboration and partnership. And to go global, we cannot do this on our own. Including partnerships and collaborations, a total of seven announcements were made during MWC Barcelona. Partnerships with Nokia, AT&T, Cisco and Qualcomm will bring innovative new open RAN solutions to markets through Rakuten Symphony, and an MOU with Africa's leading mobile operator, MTN Group, will serve to conduct 4G and 5G open RAN trials in South Africa, Nigeria, and Liberia. In addition, it was announced that former U.S. Federal Communications Commission Chairman Ajit Pai will join the board of directors of Rakuten Symphony. During his tenure as chairman, the FCC executed the 5G Fast Plan, a comprehensive strategy to promote 5G in the US, which freed up wireless spectrum for commercial, flexible wireless use, and modernized regulations to encourage the deployment of wireless infrastructure. The highlights for Rakuten Symphony at MWC was the announcement of the acquisition of longtime partner Robin IO, adding multi cloud mobility hyper-automation, and orchestration capabilities to the Rakuten Symphony portfolio. Finally, the first public demonstration of SimWorld was held, 
displaying its highly advanced platform capabilities and ease of operation. Rockton Symphony will continue to bolster its SimWorld platform to expand its global footprint.